You may have never heard of the African painted dog pups, but we all know golden retrievers. This is the story of the two coming together to help a species that's endangered. This has been pretty exciting for the zoo. It's been the last couple months have just been um, very exciting, but emotionally draining for staff, um, physically draining because it has just been something else. I keep, I really have to compliment the staff. That is Josh Sisk. He's the executive director at the Potawatomi Zoo. Those are the three pups in the background. And, uh, you, can, you can hear them, they're being pretty rowdy back here. The staff has been a part of a conservation project with the wild dogs for years. This was the first successful birth at the zoo. But there was a problem. We could tell immediately that this new mom was not going to raise her uh, pups, and if they were going to survive, we had to intervene. On the advice of an expert group trying to save the species, the zoo brought in a surrogate domestic dog named Cassie. She had golden retriever puppies of her own, so the staff was there 24-7 to make sure her pups and the wild ones were getting enough food and time with mom. She's gone now, and the wild dogs are eating meat, preparing for a future. The real goal for these guys is to be able to be joined to a pack of their own, so there's a good chance that they're going to probably go to other zoos, and uh, they're going to be able to contribute to the population just as well, so we're looking forward to being part of that.